Hey everyone, it's Cam Berry, Insane Botanist, or as many people could call me, IB, CBIB, CBIB, Enigma, whatever. I've got so many nicknames that you can probably come up with your own nickname for me if you ever wanted to. But anyways, I'm going to try and stop myself from umming, butting, and pausing just like I did there. Um, sometimes it's actually far longer than you actually notice because I can sometimes, I'll sometimes leave a pause in because sometimes it makes sense and sometimes it doesn't. A lot of the time I'm just distracted by a noise outside, distracted by a noise in the house, or just simply trying to remember what exactly I plan to say and Oftentimes when I actually do that, I end up rambling and going off topic for a little bit, and I do try to cut those out, but as you may notice in previous videos, I haven't taken out all of them because sometimes it leads, that's like my thought of, pro of consciousness, and anyways, the world is going crazy recently, and I'm sure many of you have noticed that. I'm, I work at Disney World, Disney World is currently closed to the public, but as of right now it's only security and horticulture that is working in the parks, so I'm one of the lucky few to experience the park without any music, without any guests, and without the like stress of a guest fall, fell on this bed, a guest was leaning up against this plant, a guest accidentally did this. A bed is dying because we couldn't water it in time before guests. We've pretty much been able to have hoses out all day, every day of this past week. Many of you know that the parks have decided to remain closed up until March 31st. At least that's like the ideal time frame, but many things have kind of been uncertain and the whole horticulture team is pretty much will run it by ear and we'll see how things go but we've managed to kind of keep all the plants alive I think there's only one or two beds that has like failed miserably but that's mostly because it's actually been pretty hot recently it's been about 90 at the high and that's not good for many of these plants that are more winter weather for Florida. So chances are those will need to be replaced and transferred over to heat loving as far as the temperature stays above 80. Because even at like 75, a lot of the winter loving plants love that, but at 80 then they start failing and can't keep up their water intake and wilt but as you probably see in the different beds that you would walk around and visit it looks totally fine to the guest and it's really only us horticulturalists that notice that this plant is dying that plant is looking a little off there's a bunch of weeds in that bed, there's a bunch of space in that bed. Sometimes it just looks intentional that there's not a plant in every spot on a bed, but a lot of times it's meant to be that they grow and kind of expand, filling up that space, but if they don't fill up that space in time, then we have to kind of plant more plants in there. All the fun stuff, because Disney's all about show, and even at horticulture, it's all about keeping the show alive, which is very literal when the parks is closed and there are no guests who really see it, but we still want the whole park to look perfectly fine when it does open especially with the Flower and Garden Festival, which is pretty much all about the plants and not so much about the attractions, even though people will go on the attractions and 
there's nothing really stopping them from going on the Frozen ride or going on Spaceship Earth, other than recently the fact that there's a whole situation going on with a global pandemic that's pretty much closed off all public gatherings, um, restaurants, pretty much anything that has more than 10 people at one time. But that's kind of advantageous to horticulture because most of the time we are at least six feet away from each other at all times. The only real time that we are not that far away is when we're helping plant bed because, well, the beds may be big, but when you have one person in there, it'll take an hour to five hours just to plant the whole bed or to weed the whole bed and if you have more people to do it it's done quickly chances are you can kind of split it up into half you start close and inch your way out and then you're far enough away that that's what the CDC recommends but yeah compared to what I was expecting for this internship this is totally unexpected and it's actually been really nice to not be so rushed and that's probably what I want in life to be doing something where I'm not as rushed but there's still the enjoyment of needing to get things done and kind of deadlines in place but This is only like my first time really in the workforce and I don't actually know where this will lead. I mean, for all I know, I'll enjoy this enough that I end up staying and the internship transfers into a job and so be it Then I end up working at Disney for a bit. But Another thing I could do is I could find out that there's another job that's better suited for me and I find that I like different climates better and I don't really know how I'll do in certain areas until I actually go in that area and enjoy the climate at maybe the worst time of year and the best time of year. Because if the, the worst time of year is only a month and the best time of year is nine months, then it's not that bad. And maybe it's more enjoyable because I really want to grow plants and have a few animals, as you would probably have heard in some of my previous videos. Because, yeah, I'm an insane botanist, but I'm also a very literally down-to-earth person, so nature is a part of who I am and I like walking around and not feeling like I need to go back inside in an hour. I want to sometimes just wander around for a whole day and not really have a point to the day other than enjoying the scenery and just kind of being me. And sometimes I just want to I don't know, be in a greenhouse and just plant a few seeds and grow the, this plant from seed and see how it goes and what may have failed if the plant dies and what may have done better, what may have done worse. Hey, maybe I'll do some of the things that Jeb Gardner did where he pretty much ignored the like, rules of horticulture, even though there aren't really any rules, there's just guidelines and maybe I'll do what um, some people do where they walk around and film talking about various plants that are around I mean just because I don't like to do it or I don't really want to be talking about it doesn't mean I won't talk about it because I want to kind of educate you guys on different aspects of horticulture even though I've only really done one video of the sort, which is the what is precision agriculture. I do have quite a few ideas on future videos that 
I kind of want to make sure I know my stuff and I'm not really being wrong with much of the things that I'm saying. The only reason some of the videos that I've done recently about my Disney horticulture internship has been like awkward or weird or there's not really been much substance other than me just talking about it is because a lot of things are behind closed doors and I can't really talk about things that happen but in a way I can kind of talk about what we're doing right now because it's not anything that's not known to people who garden it's just general maintenance and now that things like the topiaries and beds have been planted I can talk about them I can show you some videos and pictures of them um, and I do have some ideas of future videos where there are challenges because even though it's kind of gross to eat bugs I kind of enjoy understanding how they taste even though many of the times it's dehydrated and not really like fried or cooked up or seasoned properly and I mean there are some places I want to go and tour and kind of understand a bit better but I can't really get there without some help so feel free to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate all uh, what 33 of you that watch my videos even if not everyone watches them it's kind of cool to see that I'm at the point now where my subscriber base is the size of a small college classroom or high school class or um, elementary school class I mean I do know kind of the ages of some of the people and I guess right now college classroom is more like it but maybe I'll make another separate channel where I have more child friendly stuff I'm just rambling again like comment subscribe there's somewhere on the screen another video of mine that YouTube thinks may, you may enjoy and see you in the next video.